this year we had the first set of estimates and we know that uh, around the world 14.9 million babies are born too soon, born before 37 weeks of, uh, of pregnancy. But in fact, what we also know, and, and this was news that we have from the Born Too Soon report launched in May of this year and also a paper in the Lancet Medical Journal, um, we know that 85% of those preterm babies are born uh, just between 32 and that 37 week gap, so just a few weeks preterm. Most of those babies don't need intensive care. They could be saved with kangaroo mother care, tying the baby to the mother's front, being able to breastfeed, better weight gain, better temperature control, avoiding infections. These are babies that uh, there is no excuse for them to die, and that's one of the big messages we're, we're putting out this year. If I was to have a preterm labour in the UK or the US and somebody didn't give antenatal steroids, they would be sued. But the same situation happening in Africa or South Asia, we know that less than 1 in 10, less than 10% of those women in preterm labour are getting an injection that's low cost, high evidence and could save up to 400,000 babies a year. This year we have more than 50 partners, uh, at least 40 countries that are going to be having events and those countries are also including the countries that are most affected. This isn't just a, a day where we will have some noise at global level, it's a day where a country like Malawi with the highest preterm birth rate in the world is really championing change and real leadership. They were one of the first countries in Africa to start doing kangaroo mother care. Now almost every facility in, in Malawi offers kangaroo mother care. Every midwife who's being trained in her undergraduate training will know how to do kangaroo mother care. Um, and one of the things that the government has recognised is um, that they could do a lot more for antenatal corticosteroids, an injection that would save the lives of uh, around 400,000 babies if this was scaled up globally. Um, hasn't had a lot of attention in Malawi and this is something that the government are really committing to change. So, important message this World Prematurity Day. We care, but also we can really care for these babies. We can do something very different. We have uh, interventions that work, that are feasible without intensive care, that are low cost and in the hands of frontline workers really will save hundreds of thousands of babies.